Hello, welcome to another video. Today we're going to be doing my, I guess, montage of my 2021 finishes from July to December. I decided not to do the whole year and just do the last six months because... So in 2021, I completed 144 diamond paintings. 30 of them were round, 91 specials, and 23 squares. So the first half um, I had completed 47 diamond paintings, so I will link the original. The, I did a video back in July where I showed my January to June finishes, so I'll link that in the eye above or in the description below. Um, but for this part, we're going to just do July to December where I finished 97 diamond paintings, 16 were round, um, 12 squares, and 69 specials. So first one. It's this one here. This one um, is from Every Everyday E-Crafts. It is a square diamond painting. Um, and this is actually my 48th finish of 2021, but my 100th diamond painting. My, like, finish of all time, I don't know. Um, including all, all of my finishes from last year, too. So, so yeah, this is diamond painting 100 for me. And number 48 for 2021. Um, so yeah, now I think this one is actually really beautiful. I had it hanging up for a little bit, um, but I ended up using the frame for something else. So there's that one. So next diamond painting is, oops, is this apron here. <laughs> it's, it's a, um, apron with a deer on it. Um, this is from DIY Choose, and this was number 49. And number 50. Oh, I'm getting the wrong thing. So number 50, I actually broke. Um, it's this um, quartet of birds. It was supposed to be a hanging, it's supposed to be hanging um, there was supposed to be a chain here, and it's supposed to be hanging, but I broke it when I dropped it when I was trying to seal it. So, yeah, it broke in. <laughs> Sad, but it's cute. It has, it's the first time I have these ones with the googly eyes. You see it? I don't know. <laughs> and I've used the leftover googly eyes for other things. So, next diamond painting. So that one is 50. So 51, I actually gave away. Um, it was my, um, it was from fan cells and it had a sign that said, um, your cats must be approved by, oh wait, all guests must be approved by the cats. I'll put a picture in it right here, but I don't have it with me. I gave it to someone who has cats. Um, so next one, number 52 is this one. This is from GBFKE. Um, and it's it's beautiful. Next one is this one here. Like, I'm too lazy to move my camera up and down, so I'm just going to move the smaller ones up. So this one is from GBFKE. Also, it actually came with this frame here, and it's this panda hugging some bamboo. It's really cute. Um, Number 54 is this um, Santa and Reindeer. I guess it's a, it's kind of a wreath, but it doesn't have any hanging apparatus on it. So this is from DIY Digital Art. And yeah, it's another one of my specials. I have, there's a lot, there's going to be a lot of specials in this one. So um, that might be why I was able to get to 97. So that's 54. 55 is from fan cells it is this um parent and child snow family with some birds and trees this is a square diamond painting it's probably like a 40 by 40. i forgot to put in my sizes in my little piece of paper so yeah i'm gonna go for it. it's probably a 40 by 40. um yeah and from fan cells and that's Finish number 55. I did bling this up a little bit. There are some ABs in the white parts of the snow um, people. And then I did put some crystal rhinestones uh, in square. These I, I actually got some square crystal rhinestones from 
um, shimmering canvases. So, so the so the green in there, some of those are crystal rhinestones. So it's really, it's really cute. And so there's that one. And the next one is this tissue box here. It's yeah, see a tissue box. I have I actually haven't been using this for anything um, other than storing my little pieces, my small diamond paintings that are like, you know, my small tiny like keychains and things like that. So this was actually filled with that stuff. So this one is from FG Normal, um, and this was finish number fifty six of the year. This is finish number fifty seven here. Um, this is a beautiful swirl mandala from Colorful DIY. Yep, it's beautiful. I really like this one. Number 58. This one is from FG Normal. It's this snail. Yeah, no, this one is really beautiful too. This one, uh, yeah, no, this one's really, really beautiful too. So happy with that one. So number 59 is this one here. It is kind of long. I don't know if I could move you up that much more. Um, so it, it's one of these long, I, I've actually, I actually have this hanging up and I, I use these magnetic frame things in here. So I'm gonna move you sideways so you can see the whole thing. Um, so this one is from Mary's Diamonds. It's called Jungle Cats by Tengu Arts. They did send me this item for review. So um, this was my first Mary's Diamonds that I finished and it's a round. I think it looks really beautiful. I love the colors on this one. So that's finish 59 for the year for me. So Finish number 60 for the year is this hanging pendant here. It's from DP Clubs and I just call this a mandala pendant. It's actually really, really beautiful. You can kind of see um, with the, because it has a uh, covering, you do kind of see the reflection of everything, but um, yeah, no, it's beautiful. I actually don't have this hanging anywhere because I just didn't know where to put it, but, but yeah, no, that's number 60. And so the last one for July for me, at least, is this one here. Um, it is a fidget spinner. Um, it's beautiful. It's like this snowflake -y, um, fidget spinner here. Um, so that is the 61 finishes, the 61th finish of the year. And that is also the fin last finish of July. So I finished 14 diamond paintings in July. So I'm going to go get my August stuff. I'll be back. Okay, so um, in October, I finished 16 diamond paintings. The first one are Christmas cards, but I did actually give them away. So I'll put the picture of the Christmas cards right here. Um, yeah, and those were from DP Clubs. So the next item um, I finished is this here, this flower basket here. It is a hanging ornament. I have not hung it and hence why I don't have the chain on it. And I think I might've used the chain for something else, but yeah, no, it's it's beautiful. These, these um, hanging ornaments have been really fun to do. Um, so this one is from DIY Digital Art. Um, the next thing is also from DIY Digital Art, but I brought it to work for um, Halloween decoration and I left it there. So it's a trick-or-treat sign, which I will put the picture up here. Um, so yeah, it's just a nice, simple trick-or-treat sign. So next one, this one is from FGOBY. It's a wreath with a butterfly, I mean a butterfly, a bee and some sunflowers. Um, the only thing I have against this one is there's no hanging apparatus, so you do have to add your own, but no, no it's, it's beautiful and it's a much thicker wreath than I'm normally used to. So 
finish number 66 of the year is this one here. This is um, part of my Heaven and Earth Designs montage of, um, it had like nine pictures. It was called the Quick Montage. This is a pattern from Heaven and Earth Designs, which is a cross stitch pattern that I diamond painted using my leftover drills and on a blank canvas. And I think this one turned out beautiful. I do still have seven of the nine um, left in that montage to work on, but it does take a little bit longer to do these ones since you are doing it on a blank canvas for my pattern. So yeah, no, this one is finish number 66. Um, and these are squares, if, FYI. So next one. Is this one is another tissue box. Um, it's it opens up like this. I have just been using this to store some of the little pieces of some of my diamond paintings. So this one is from GBFKE, and I just called this mandala. It's like a half mandala. I swear I think I have this pattern in a full mandala, but that's why I called this one mandala. So So next one is this one here. Um, this is from GBFKE and um, this one is from Everyday E-Crafts here. And this one is also from Everyday E-Crafts. This is just um, some special shapes, um, trees here. They're all beautiful. And so number 70, no, the number 71 so those were finishes number 67 to 69. This one is finish number 71. It's hard to put these ones with the <laughs> frame. So this one is called Fall Time by Graham Gre Gherkin from Diamond Art Club. It is a square diamond painting. Um, all Well, most of these should have a more full review somewhere on my channel, either in an unboxing for most of my budget diamond paintings or in an actual separate completion review. So if you want more details of what I think about any of these diamond paintings, look in the unboxings or completion reviews. Um, I will put down below just like a list of all of these and where they came from. So, um, and if you guys really, really want a link for something, let me know and I will try to hunt it down. <laughs> But it, there's just too many to put on here. So this one is from Diamond Art Club. Remarkably, this is my first full-size Diamond Art Club. The only other Diamond Art Club I had done prior to this one was my um, one of those free just pay for shipping promotional things from Diamond Art Club. FYI, don't buy those free just pay for shipping promotional things. They are way too small and you get really disappointed. So yeah, no, this one is finish 71 for the year. Finish 72 is this here. Okay, so this was supposed to be a hanging pendant, but the problem was um, the I, there was a chain here and then these things were just chained to each of the pieces here and then these were chained. The problem is it was just too, the chain just made it turn too much and these are only one-sided. So I decided to just put it into my art portfolio um, on a piece of paper. So this is just like a 12 by 18 inch um, piece of construction paper and I slipped into my art portfolio. So now this is kind of how it's supposed to look. So yeah, no, this is a, this one is from New Craft Day. Um, and yeah, it's beautiful. I just was disappointed in what ended up happening with it. So next one. is this one here. This one is from Craft Ease. It's North Spirit by Lex Zeus. Um, it's like a 40 by 40 round. I did end up, um, this did come with some um, rhinestones, but I did add my own rhinestones to, you know, help it pop because I keep all of my drills. So, and I've been doing so many special shape ones that I have tons of rhinestones now. So I did add the rhinestones to the edges and then the antlers. So, so yeah, no, this one is actually very beautiful. The the blues in this are just, they are just beautiful. The blues and the blue greens and then the greens, beautiful. So this one of, 
I, I, I'm, one, I'm very happy with this one. So the next one, number 74 of my finishes is this one here. Um, this is just like a special shaped full rhinestone pe peony. So now this one, actually, I'm very happy with how this turned out. Like you could see the individual petals. So sometimes on these smaller ones, you're, you're questioning whether you'll be able to see all the detail, but this one actually turned out really, really good. So this one is from DIY Choose. So also from DIY Choose, my next one is this fidget spinner here. Um, it's beautiful. I can't spin one handed apparently. So I have to put my piece of paper down. <laughs> So my piece of paper, which just tells me things. So this one is from DIY Choose. This is my 75th finish of 2021. And yeah. So 76 is actually this one here. Um, it's on a frame and it has um, this Christmas tree. Did I leave my batteries in here? This is supposed to light up. I don't remember if I left the batteries in here. Yeah, it does. It's lit. I don't even know if you could tell. It's lit up. It lights up at the bottom here. Um, and so this one is from DIY Choose also, and it's just this simple um, Christmas tree framed. It did come with the frame, FYI. So last one for August is... This one here, this is from DIY Digital Art. It says, welcome to our home. And it comes with a bunch of magnets here. I, I had just put the magnets in the back, but if you wanted to take one out, it's supposed to do that. So you do have like this red truck with, um, and you could put different magnets based off of what you want. So it just says, welcome to our home. Um, it actually turned out pretty good, and I'm, I do like the fact that the magnets will just fit in the back there. Um, my only problem with it is it says our. <laughs> what if I'm by myself? Welcome to my home. <laughs> so yeah, no, this one, this one's beautiful. So that's the last finish I have for August. I did 16 in August, and I will be back with my, what's my, September. So I'm back with my September finishes. Um, I did 18 in September. So here is number 78 of my 2021 finishes and 130 in my overall since I started diamond painting. So yeah, this one is Lucky Cat by Max Grachev from Mary's Diamonds. It is a square diamond painting. And I didn't enjoy this as much mainly because of the gapping, but it is an older kit, so I don't I would say that maybe Mary Simons might have gotten better in the future. I don't know yet. It'll be one of those try again in the future. So next one, oh, and this one is a square FYI. Next one is this one here. I think this is the beginning. I'm gonna move you down. I think most of my, most of this month is not gonna be that big. So I'm gonna move you down a little bit. Um, this one is um, from FG Normal. It's I, this is I this is I think my first um, of these flower quill um, the flower um, paper quilling inspired diamond painting. It's beautiful. You'll probably see a bunch of these <laughs> soon in this um, video. So yeah, no, this one is beautiful from FG Normal. Also from FG Normal, well, it's this Christmas tree. Well, it's more, it's a ornament of a Christmas tree. So now this one is beautiful. I really like the colors of this one. It's actually been hanging out on top of my fireplace for Christmas. And since I haven't taken down my Christmas decorations yet, it's still there. So yeah, this one is from FG Normal too. It's beautiful. Only thing is it's not double-sided, but I have noticed newer um, newer ornaments are double-sided now. So next one is this here. It's this tulip um, basket. It, it, it is a hanging ornament. Um, 
see. And it's beautiful. It also came with this um, random keychain there. Now this one is like beautiful. I think it's soon spring. This is what's probably going to be up on my wall during very soon when, you know, it, see, it, I feel like it's not so wintry anymore. So yeah, this one is from FG Normal also. Next one. You should see my floor, it's horrible. <laughs> Actually, you don't want to see it. Um, next one is this one here. Sorry for all the glare there, because, you know, I have lights and then this is framed. So this one is from Home Fun on AliExpress. Um, I call it Bird Mosaic. It is a square of 30 by 30. And um, I liked it. It's so horrible, the glare. Um, I liked it enough that I framed it and I put it up on my wall, even though my frame is just way too big, but it is beautiful. I'm trying to like hold it up so you don't see the glare. Now you can see my window, <laughs> but it's, it's beautiful. I had that up during fall because I thought it was very folly. This one is also framed, so I'm hoping also that, yeah, no, that's a really horrible glare. Um, so you'll see all of my glare there. So this one is also framed. This is from DIY Choose. It is also a square. I did add my own like bling onto this one. There is a lot of ABs on this one, um, mainly because I think I got this like right after I got my 1,000 grams or one kilogram worth of ABs drills of squares from, from AliExpress. And if you haven't seen that video, <laughs> I don't know if you want to check it out, but I did buy one kilogram of drills from AliExpress and I just asked them for all the colors they had. So yeah, though this one is beautiful. I'm just holding it up weirdly so that it doesn't have the shine on there, the extra lights glaring onto the frame. So yeah, did I say this was from DIY Choose? And I think this is about a 40 by 40. So I'm hoping my frames don't break. So Next one I did was this tiny one. This is just, uh, this is a diamond painted wine cover. It, I got this one with a snowman. I thought, you know, I, I don't drink wine, but I thought this would be great for, you know, a, you know, gift bag for a diamond painting. So you could put a diamond painting instead of wine in there. Um, so yeah, this one, what am I on? So this one is finish number 84 for me of the year. And this one's from DP Clubs. And next one are some ornaments. So this next one is from DP Clubs. It's 10 Christmas ornaments. I'm just going to display them here. Um, I, I thought at some point I would use these as gift tags, but I didn't end up using them. But I, that's what I figured I would be using these for and write, you know, like to and from. But yeah, no, they're, they're beautiful. They're cute. Um, I can still use them next year. <laughs> I just have them in like a zip bag <laughs> that probably came with a diamond painting. So yeah, my floor is covered with lots of stuff. So next diamond painting is this one here. It's a sunflower with a vase. Wait, sunflowers in a vase. And this one is from FGOBY. Um, this one is actually really, really beautiful. Um, I think if I didn't finish this, so like, I think I, I would have put this up. I just didn't have space somewhere, but you know, this in the fall would look really, really great. It's, um, it's a full coverage, um, like special shape with crystal rhinestones. Yeah, I've been doing a lot of these. So that one's from FGOBY. So the next one is my next two, which are finishes 87 and 88 are all Christmas cards that I have given away. So I will put the pictures of them here. The first set is um, number 87 is from Colorful DIY. And the next set should be from DP Clubs. So if I did my job editing, you should see the picture right there. 
So finish number 89 of the year is this one here. It's these sunflowers. And these are from Colorful DIY. These are round diamond painting, round drill diamond painting. And it's just like a 25 by 35, which, you know, on camera, it actually looks pretty decent. In person, it's actually relatively decent too for the size, but a little bit pixelated. So next one. is this one here this is a snake plant i got this from amazon as a i think it was in a four pack or a six pack i can't remember um it was from amazon from ppo pound um and this was finished number 90 of the year for me and this one did actually come with ab's the green there's a green in there that's an ab and if you don't like white this might not be the diamond painting for you So next one is actually at my work. I put it up during Christmas and I just left it there um, thinking I would put it up next year. So I will put a picture of it here. It's from DIY Choose. I put, um, it's a, I call it Snowman Star. Um, so, or I could call it Snow Star. I don't know. Um, but yeah, it, it's cute enough that I brought it to work. So next one is from FGOBY. This one is just a snowman hat. I mean, it's like Santa hat with a snowman running. I don't know. Maybe trying to get away from someone. <laughs> snowman running away. Um, it's cute. I didn't end up using it because it's too small for my head, but might be good for kids. Next one is another flower paper quilling. Um, diamond painting here. This one is from DIY Choose and it's beautiful. Yeah, no, the, these are just so much fun that I just keep doing them and I really like the color scheme on this one. This is the, this is like some of my favorite colors here, the blue, green, teal stuff. So yeah, no, this one's beautiful. I do remember I do remember adding more drills to this one just to fill it out, but you know, if you have extras, why not? So next one is more ornaments, which I have to take out of this bag here. Uh, I did not um, put the string on there. So yeah, let me just pull them out here. So just a uh, various paper ornaments. These are Halloween theme one, um, except maybe this one. I don't know what that theme is. Is it a, <laughs> but yeah, no, they're just some Halloween decorations there a sad pumpkin um these actually look way better on camera than they do in real life but I, although i do remember my main issue with this one is it didn't come with this blue drill at all but i just added it because i have so many diamond painting drills so this was actually finished number 94 of 2021 so move that to the side here um and the last finish for me for September is this one. Yes, it's another flower paper quilling one with butterflies. You might see lots of flowers and butterflies on my channel because one, they just turn out really great as diamond paintings and I think they're beautiful. So yeah, this is another flower and butterfly paper quilling inspired diamond painting. It's from DIY Choose and this was finish number 95 of 2021. And yeah, no, it's just beautiful. I don't, I don't know what else to say. So this one is, yeah, I did finish 18 in September. So I'm going to go get my, De my December, I was going to say October ones next. So in October, I finished 21 diamond paintings. This is the first one for October. This is finish 96 for 2021. And this was my Halloween diamond painting. This is from DP Clubs. It's, I did bling this up. I added rhinestones to the stars and the writing is all the rhinestones also. So yeah, no, this was up at my work during Halloween. So next thing is some Christmas ornaments, some paper Christmas ornaments, or I called them gift tags. I did not end up using these, but they're these ones here. They kind of just kind of look like gingerbread cutouts. So um, 
These are from DIY, DIY Chews. So yeah, just some Christmas tags here. I was thinking since these are paper, this these would make good gift tags that you put, put on some presents. Um, the next diamond painting is this one here. It's a snowman and I don't know, maybe sun um, um, on a stocking here. This one is from Coo Deals and this was my finish 98. Finish 99 is this one here. It's an elf sock and this is a special drill from Everyday E-Crafts. This is actually really, really beautiful. Like in person, this just, it's just, yeah, this is another special shape diamond painting and yeah, it's, it's beautiful. The outline on this is those AB um, clear rhinestones and yeah, no, those are my favorite ones. So... My 100th finish of 2021 is this one here. This is a square from DIY Chews. Um, I did use some um, crystal rhinestones as the pink parts on here, and I think that just made this absolutely pop. There is some gapping in this, unfortunately, but otherwise, if you look at it from far away, it looks good. Um, but I did test out my rhinestones that I got from um, AliExpress. I did get some, like, a pack of another, like, more, another kilogram of ABs and rhinestones from them. Um, so, yeah, this is finish number 100 from DIY Chews. Finish number 101 is actually this year. Um... They're supposed to be like a hanging lantern. It came with like lights and things, but I, ha I didn't use it. So it's just like this. But um, I have to say this one is my absolutely favorite one with the these really, really pretty teardrops here. Um, the others look fine too. The one thing is they are, they did come with um, some like tape, but I mean some like circle tape on there but it doesn't it they were not good enough and i put some tape myself and it still wasn't good enough so i might have to glue these or you know just toss them in my with my stuff i finished and i don't know what to do with <laughs> so that one is finish 101 so finish 102 is this here it's um this Christmas bell. It's a hanging ornament. I don't. I don't think I have batteries in here, so it's not going to light up. But it does light up at the top here, and it like hangs like that. Um, but yeah, no, it's just it's some bells. I think it actually looks really good, and then um, the, and you could tell all the details in it. You could even see the little like mallet that's inside of the bells. So there. This one, yeah, this one's from Everyday E Crafts. So, number 103 is this here. Um, it actually came with this here too. This is supposed to be hanging from here. And then it came with, this is supposed to be just a keychain. Um, so, so yeah, no, this one actually... It's, it's beautiful. There's some parts of it that are not like the clearest, like this part here. Um, but the sunflower looks really, really great. And I called this my Four Seasons um, ornament since it's supposed to be Four Seasons. Like here's, um, here's fall, here's some tulips, so that's spring. Um, there's some holly, so that's um, winter. I don't know what's supposed to be summer. Maybe the um, tree house, not the tree house, the bird house. Um, but I think they meant for it to be more fall-like because, you know, they gave this here too. So, so yeah, this one's from DIY Digital Art. So next one is, I don't actually have it with me right now. Um, it's at work and it's a um, wreath. So I will put the picture there. Uh, although 
the wreath did also come with this here too and I still have this but it, it came this is like an extra keychain so it was a Christmas wreath and I had it up during um, Christmas um, at work and it's still currently there so um, that one's from GBFKE So finish number 105, also from GBFKE. These are another paper quilling inspired diamond painting, but it's a Christmas version um, and it's just beautiful. Next one, finish number 106 is this wreath here. Um, it's my peacock wreath from FGOBY. Um, well, you know, I've done a couple of peacock diamond paintings. I feel like when I started diamond painting, peacocks were like, you could get like a peacock diamond painting for, you just found them everywhere. So I thought, is everyone supposed to do a peacock diamond painting? <laughs> so yeah, no, this is my peacock diamond painting of um, a wreath. It does not come with any hanging apparatus, but it is still beautiful. So at some point, maybe I might want to hang it. I do really like um, the use of these drills here for the tree. I mean, the trees for the leaves. So, next one. This one is also from FGOBY. This is another paper quilling inspired diamond painting with For Christmas, and it's cute. Next one from DIY Digital Art is this pillowcase cover here. I still haven't bought my pillow. <laughs> I, I've been meaning to buy a pillow. I actually sealed this already, um, intending that I was going to get a pillowcase. And I just, my, my, I keep forgetting every time I go to a store that I could possibly buy a pillow um, inside pillowcase for, I mean, a pillow um, inside. This is the pillowcase. I, I I keep forgetting to buy a pillow, but this is from DIY Digital Art. And it's actually really beautiful. I'm really happy with this one. Um, I did bling this up with my own ABs in there too, since I do have... A ton of ABs that because I bought um, I just bought like you know multi-pack of ABs so next one is another paper quilling inspired time painting it's this one is from DP clubs and it's I guess it's more poinsettias since it is um, Christmas diamond painting so yeah so that's finish 109. So finish 110 and 111 is actually these two here. This is um, 110 and 111. They're both from DP Clubs. They're just like these cute um, animal diamond paintings. I've just been putting them um, on this 12 by 18 paper and I've been filling them up. The reason this one is empty is because that was supposed to be my panda um, hugging the bamboo that is currently framed. So whenever that takes, gets taken out of frame, I'll put it in here. So, so yeah, that's finished one, 110 and 111. So finish number 112 is a big one. I'm going to move you up a little. It's this one here. Um, sorry for the glare, it is framed. Um, this one is um, A Moment in Memory Lane by Chuck Pinson from Diamond Art Club. I did get this um, from Joann's though, so I didn't buy it directly from Diamond Art Club and I was able to use like a 50% off coupon, I think. Or no, I used a 60% off coupon. So I think I got this thing for like 20 bucks, which is awesome. Um, but this one was a round drill diamond painting and I think it looks okay. Um, sorry for, like I said, for the glare, you can't see the whole thing, so let me move you up like that. Um, so, so yeah. I, it's beautiful. I actually still currently have it up even though it's not fall time anymore because I figure, you know what? I don't have to have seasonally appropriate diamond paintings up all the time, do I? I don't know, do I? <laughs> but yeah, no, I have this up at my um, in my entrance, so that's why it's still framed here. Um, but this did take me a little bit longer to finish because I was just, I don't know, 
whatever reason, I just wasn't into it right away. So it took it. it I I worked on this over more than a month. So, but off and on. So, yeah. No, it's it's beautiful once it's finished. And if you want to see my full review, it's somewhere on my channel. The big ones are always hard to to put away. So here's my next one. Move you down because I'm, I don't have that many big ones. So this one is called Halloween Party from Star Roar. I got this on Amazon. Um, I got this like when it was really, really cheap. So I'm very happy that I didn't buy this for full price because it is a little bit pixelated for me. Um, considering the price, the normal price for these ones are like $20. So... Um, I expect if I'm going to be paying a little bit extra for a picture that I would get better, um, resolution. So I did bling this up a little bit. I added rhinestones in the pumpkins here in the jack-o'-lantern eyes and the, um, moon is all rhinestones also. But yeah, no, I'm just, I was just kind of unhappy with the pixelation on this. It looks okay on camera, but in real life, it's not the best. Um, so next one, oh, that was finish 113. So the next one, finish 114, is this one here. Um, this is from DIY Choose. Um, it is a square 40 by 50. And I'm actually really happy with how this looks. I did add some of my own ABs in it. What I was unhappy with was the quality of the glue on this. Um, the poured glue, this was a poured glue diamond painting. The poured glue on this one was probably added badly because there was whole sections, like little, like, little portions of it that were not sticky whatsoever. So I actually ended up sealing this and I don't seal pretty much 90% of my diamond paintings just because I don't find the need to it, but I had to seal this one because it was just one, parts of it were not sticky and two, the drills were popping. Yeah, so yeah, poured glue does not always mean it will not pop out, but it is a little bit easier to work with than um, double-sided adhesive, but yeah, no. Otherwise, looking at this on camera, this looks awesome. <laughs> And I really do, did enjoy the picture, and I did enjoy diamond painting it on the most part, except the glue was just driving me nuts. So if it wasn't for that, <laughs> I'd be like, yeah, no. Um, but no, it, this turned out beautiful. So that's one, finish 114. Finish 115 is this one here. Um, it is another paper quilling inspired diamond painting. It's actually one of my favorite ones. One, I'm a big fan of this color scheme and two, how these flowers got, um, charted is awesome. Like I wish all of them were charted like that. Um, so I give thumbs up to the charter of this because this, like I said, this is one of my favorite, um, ones because I've done a bunch of these and I've noticed more and more of the newer ones don't have as many specials, but this one, like this one, this one's awesome. <laughs> so this is still, I think my favorite of my paper quilling and diamond paintings. So, um, though, so this is, um, finish 115 from FG Normal and finish 116 also from FG Normal is some... Christmas decorations. Um, it's some Christmas ornaments here. So these actually are double-sided, so they do have drills on both sides, um, but they are on this like really thin plastic here. So, so yeah, they're. So that is finish number one hundred sixteen of twenty twenty one and. That is the last of my 21 diamond paintings that I finished in October. So I will go get the November diamond paintings and I'll be back. So I'm back. This is the first diamond painting finish of November. Um, this is finish 117 for me. This is from Fan Cells and it's a special shape drill of Starry Night. And I have to say this is a really, really beautiful rendition of Starry Night. I think this is like my third version of Starry Night. <laughs> so, you know, 
How many times can you do a story night? I don't know. But this one is actually absolutely beautiful. This was charted very, very well. So happy with that one. Next one is this here. This is actually a chair cover. I've see, um, and like chair cover. So this is, um, from fan cells. It's, I called it Santa and reindeer. And I, I think it looks cute. Um, I did actually find a chair in my house that would fit it. So I've been, I had it on my, um, it's on my, um, what's it called? Bar stool chairs. Cause you know, a lot of kitchens have those kitchen stools now where you have that elevated portion. So I have, it was able to fit my bar stool one, but it wasn't able to fit my dining room table, um, chairs, but no, this one is really cute. Um, the only thing is I remember this was really sticky. So, so I was able to, to seal this. So that turned out good. So next one is this one here. This one is from FG Normal, and I called it Nighttime Cottage, and I think this one is beautiful. If you love these kind of colors, this is, this was really fun to do, and it's just very blingy. I, I, you'll see that I have done a lot of special shape diamond paintings, especially in this last half of 2021, so, so yeah, that one. I think everything in this month are actually kind of small, so... Um, at least I won't have to move my camera up and down. So this one is my next one. Um, this one is from GBFKE. And I ended up um, blinging it up with my own rhinestone. So all the tendrils of the, the pumpkin are rhinestones. And then all the white in the background is also rhinestones. So this one turned out really good. I thought I was very happy with this one. And next one is this one here. This one is from DIY Digital Art. It is these gnomes with some pumpkin. I did end up just writing fall on the sign. It used to, I think it was supposed to say I love fall, but it just looked like nothing. So then I just was like, okay, let me try to just write fall on the sign. So that was kind of fun. Otherwise, this is exactly how it was charted. Um, and it's cute. A little pixelated, but it's cute. And numbers 122, finish 122 is actually, whoop, it's, let me fold it. It's this here. It's a tree skirt. I actually just pulled this off of my um, Christmas tree because I haven't, I haven't put away my Christmas decorations yet. Um, but this is a tree skirt. It's actually a pretty decent sized tree skirt. Um, this is from FGOBY, and it's these um, penguin and snowman, and I did use my own drills to bling this up too, so um, there is some rhinestones in the trees and in decorations in the stars. So I've been having a lot of fun blinging up my diamond painting with my leftover rhinestones. I think that might also be why I've been doing a little bit more rounds sometimes, because I just want to use my leftover rhinestones to bling it up. And I also kind of sometimes choose things preferentially, thinking I could bl bling something up. But, you know, this one turned out really good, and it's actually a pretty decent size. Um, so... Next one is this one here. Um, it's this bird here. Um, it is a special shaped diamond painting too, but it's pretty much full coverage. I am very happy that these more full coverage special shaped diamond paintings have been coming out because they've just been so much fun to do. So this one, I don't know what kind of bird it is, but it, it's beautiful. So next one. is this one here. It's a mandala. And I have to say, this is one of my favorite finishes for a mandala. I love the colors in this one. And I love how it is um, a full shape. I mean, a full shape, a full coverage um, diamond painting. So yeah, no, this one, this one turned out absolutely beautiful. My couple follow-up mandalas haven't been as beautiful, but sometimes you don't really know how it's going to look until you actually do it. So this one is from FGOBY. So also from FGOBY is this one here. It's um, it's a flower basket here, and 
I think this one looks beautiful too. The only thing I remember is I did run out of one of these of these bigger drills here and I had to just replace it. I think this one was these were supposed to be um, this beige color, but I ended up having used the pink because I didn't I ran out of the beige color. But otherwise, this is beautiful. I'm not sure about the background, but it's beautiful. Um, otherwise. So next one. Okay, I didn't realize, but I did like two flower baskets in a row, but they're different. So this one is from DIY Choose. It is, uh, you know, a desktop ornament, I guess. I don't know. What, but it, it one good thing is it is double-sided. So this actually took a good long while to diamond paint. But um, it's beautiful. I actually have it currently standing up somewhere in my house. So, so yeah desktop ornament so that was finished 126 so finished 127 are some christmas ornaments which i completely forgot about because uh, otherwise i would have put it up on my tree i don't know if it is christmas ornaments or just like keychains instead christmas keychains um so So, actually, these are a good amount. And for whatever reason, the hat lost its the hat lost its chain here. So let's fix that here. Or sh man, this is a lot more difficult. Oh, I see why. Um, I lo it doesn't have the the end piece here. So. That's probably why I, it lost its chain. Whatever. <laughs> I could just put some string on there. So these are some really cute um, keychains. Um, the only thing is they are only one-sided, so they don't have both. Um, both. They're like you can't. They. You could. They're only one-sided. That's the one bad thing about these ones. Maybe next year they'll be double-sided. Um, versions of these ones. So, yeah. So, next one is this one here. It's another, yes, I know, it's another flower. Flower paper quilling one. It's beautiful. I do really like this color here, so that's a plus on it, but yeah, like I said. I've done a lot of these ones, so it's like, what else can I say <laughs> other than I like them enough that I keep going for more. So next one is, like I said, another one here. Um, it's this sunflower here. This one, yeah, I, it's beautiful too. I have nothing really else to say. Um, I do really like these really, really big drills here. Um, it's mainly when I get drills that I don't normally get. I'm like, oh, look at this really, really big <laughs> drill here. But yeah, no, this is from DP Clubs and it's just another sunflower paper quilling and diamond painting. This one is finish number 130 of 2021. It's from Everyday E Crafts and it's so cute. I This one was highly enjoyable. Um, like, I feel like it could also end up being, like, I could end up putting this up for 4th of July just because the hat is very 4th um, of July, like, U.S. Independence Day. But it's a snowman who doesn't know what season it is if he's wearing a 4th of July hat. <laughs> um, and the last one for November is this bell here. I think I did a lot of special shapes in November. So it's this bell here. This one is also absolutely beautiful. Um, the black background versus a rhinestone um, drills is like a beautiful combination. And just the black background just makes the rhinestones pop out so much more. And that's why this made a really, really good special shape one. So yeah, no, I highly recommend this one. This one is from DP Clubs. And I so that's the last of my November finishes. I did 15 of them. So we're at the home stretch and I'll go get the December stuff.
So I'm back, and this is the first finish I had for December. Yes, it's framed, so yeah, the glare is kind of bad. Um, this is Meowy Christmas from Paint with Diamonds. They did send me this for review. So yeah, this was my first Paint with Diamonds, and I think this is super, super cute. Um, I had this hanging up on my wall for at work for Christmas, and... It just still makes me smile. Like it's so cute. I kind of wish it wasn't so Christmassy because I would I would totally put this up on, on my wall all, all year. But no, I I'm yeah no, it's very cute. And I did bling this up a little bit. I added rhinestones for the eyes here. Um, so yeah, first that's finished 132 for 2021. So next one are some Christmas ornaments here. Um, move you down. We go from that bigger one to these Christmas ornaments. I actually just pulled these off of my tree because these were the last Christmas ornaments I did and I just put it directly onto my tree. Um, this is um, from DIY Digital Art and they're, they're actually double-sided. So, yeah. And that was finish 133. So finish 134 is this one here. Um, this is from DIY Digital Art. It's a candle um, with some pine cones. And I did use some gold drills and some rhinestones to bling this up. Um, and I think it's beautiful. A little bit pixelated on camera. It actually looks pretty awesome. So, But in person, it's a tiny bit pixelated. But it's still fun to do. And gold. Next one is actually this diamond painting here. Um, it's this frog. It's from Fan Cells, and it's cute. The frog with the dragonflies. Um, yeah, no, these these are really fun to do if you just want something finished right away. These like little teeny tiny fifteen by fifteen diamond paintings. And I have so far not yet been disappointed by any of my finishes of those little 15 by 15 inch, I mean 15 by 15 um, centimeter diamond paintings. So next one, let me move you up a little bit again. So next one is this one um, here. So we're getting towards the end of the year where some of these you might not have seen yet because it just hasn't come up, come the video for it has not come up yet. Um, and so you might see some of these finishes before my completion review. So this one is um, from Koo Deals. It's a square diamond painting. Um, I actually did this while I was at my sister's house um, for Christmas. So there, yeah, there's a big... I didn't do that many. I only did 13 in Christmas, but I did a big one. So that's going to count as like five diamond paintings now. Um, so, so this one I did at my sister's house. So no, ordinarily, I probably would have blinged this up with my own like ABs and things. But since I wasn't um, at home, I didn't have all of that with me. But I think this turned out really, really good. And I was actually very happy with the square quality from this. Um, so Christmas tree. The next one, this one is from DP Clubs. It's this, um, what do you call it? Mailbox with a wreath and some birds. I have to say, I was I was kind of disappointed with how this ended up. Um, it's a bit more pixelated than I thought it would be, um, but maybe it's just too small. It is just maybe a 35 by 45. And it is around, so yeah. I mean, I still enjoyed diamond painting it. I was just a little bit disappointed with the the um, pixelation of this one. So this is finished 137 from DP Clubs. So finish 138 is this one here. It's this llama. Yes, it's. I was like, I was doing this during Christmas. I was like, eh. It could still be Christmas themed. There's green in it. <laughs> that's my that's my excuse for things. So this one um, is finished 138 from FGOBY, and it's this llama. And I have to say, it's very cute. Um, 
I enjoyed, highly enjoyed doing this one. I feel like I, I highly enjoyed doing a lot of these special diamond paintings and hence why I keep getting them because I tend not to be disappointed with the final product because they tend to be more um, simple images that actually kind of chart around the outlines. So you get some really distinct like features on it. So you like, unlike um, diamond paintings where everything's in a grid, with the outlines, it just makes um, the pictures just pop. So yeah, the llama here. Um, next one is this mandala here. Um, it's okay. Not my favorite mandala. It has a lot less coverage than I would like. Um, the, a lot of it is just like printed background. And then there is a little bit of dr drills diamond paint on it. So, I mean, it's beautiful. I like the color scheme. I kind of wish it was more full coverage. But, but yeah, this is from DP Clubs. Next one is this one here. It's this cat where it says, in a world where you can be anything, be kind. I just, I liked, I just liked the, the message on it and I liked the picture anyway. So I did, um, did a tiny bit of hand charting on the words just to make it pop, but most of it is how it was originally, um, most of the words are how it was originally charted. And I also used rhinestones for the eyes and the butter, some of the butterflies because I was, I did this at my sister's house and I didn't have my all my supplies of rhinestones. So I ended up just using the rhinestone, leftover rhinestones from, you know, the stuff that I just showed you um, and the stuff my mom was working on. So yeah, now this one's cute. So next one. So that was finish 140. So finish 141 is a big one. Let me move you up. Um, this was pretty much one that I worked on most of December. <laughs> so I haven't even done my review for this one yet. Do I have the whole thing? Okay, that's probably as full of this as we'll be able to get. So this one is from Dreamer Designs. It's called The Christmas House by Dominic Davidson. Um, it's a 60 by 80. Um, and I have to say this is like, I really enjoyed diamond painting this one. Um, it's just the right amount of festive, but not too Christmassy. I mean, it's Christmassy, but not too Christmassy for me. Um, and I think the details turned out pretty good. There is a little bit of gapping, which kind of is annoying. Like, I don't know if you could tell, but it's in the sky and things like that. Um, I'll do a more complete review when I actually record it, but I did do some of my own blinging up. I added rhinestones in the windows here and then rhinestones in there and then a rhinestones in the Christmas decorations. And I also did rhinestones for the the decorations here and then rhinestones here. I kind of really like the whole rhinestones um, just like add just that extra, like it gives it like, it looks like it's shining. Um, and then I did add some purple ABs on this one. Like I kind of feel like the, the, the more expensive diamond painting companies are very stingy in their addition of ABs. And I know sometimes too much AB is not good either because the ABs do kind of have like a different kind of color scheme to it. But yeah, no, I think this one, it turned out beautiful here. Um, I still have to record my review of it, but <laughs> um, so that was finished 141. So finish, now after that one, everything is just small. <laughs> so finish 142 is this glasses case here um, from DP Clubs. So yeah, it's just, it's just a simple glasses case here. And finish 143 is actually this here. <laughs> it's, yeah, no, it's my Ferris wheel. I did, I did just do the review of this relatively recently, so you might have seen it already. It's this Ferris wheel here. Um, I do like that it turns. This is from GBFKE. And you, you would have seen me do the construction of this in a previous video. So. And 
I'm like, I kind of don't want to accidentally like break these things when I put them down. You should see my floor. Actually, you don't want to see my floor. Um, so my last finish of 2021, finish 144, is this one here. Um, if you've been following my channel a very long time, <laughs> you may have remembered that I kitted this up back in May, probably. <laughs> And I never ended up doing it until December. And it was my last finish of 2021. I finished this during watching the rocking New Year's Eve um, show while I was waiting for midnight to happen. So I did seriously just finish this during the New Year's Eve watching. So, um, so yeah, no, this one is actually really beautiful. I'm surprised I didn't do it yet and i left it till the end of the year but um it, this is one of my oldest things that were kitted up that i hadn't done so i had this kitted up like i said in may i think or july or june um but yeah i did do some of my own blinging up and it'll be my review will be in a future video because i just recorded it yesterday <laughs> so yeah that is finished 144 of 2021 so yeah, I said, like I said earlier in the year, I mean, in the, earlier in the video that I finished 144 in 2021, which were 30 rounds, 91 specials, and 23 squares. And if you compare that to my 2020 finishes, but I did just start um, diamond painting in 2020 in May. So in 2020, I finished 52 diamond paintings, 24 were round, 5 specials, and 23 squares. So I really upped my special game. So that is all for this video. So if you made it this far, thank you very much. Um, I doubt I will get this many done in 2022, but who knows? Maybe will I surpass my 144 diamond paintings? I don't know. <laughs> but that is all for today. So thank you very much for watching and happy diamond painting. Bye!